And rolling. That ball up and down the fingers. Yes, indeed. And into the paw. And pass the pinky. And the thumb. And across the neck. And then we'll leave the ball in the palms, interlace the fingers, and squeeze. And let go, and then squeeze. And let go, and one more time, squeeze. And the Release. Let's go around the back. And switch. And switch. And switch. 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 And switch. And then through the legs. Switch, 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 and place the ball on the floor, assess on the feet, our feeling, make a note of the ankles, knees, and hips, and then press on the ball right in the middle of the foot three times. Move up to the knuckles, press once on each, and then cross. And roll across the knuckles. And move down to the top of the heel. And slide it across the top of the heel, pivoting on the toes. Press down right below the first knuckle, side of the top of the heel, and in the middle of the 50 minute cluster. Roll down each of the bones. And scribble. Bill, you might want to mute yourself there. And three, two, one, release, reassess, and go to the other foot. Press down three times. Knuckles. Roll across. Roll across the top of the heel. We're resting the three spots. Roll down the bones. And cool. And the ball out of the way. Reassess. And shake the tree. Three, 
two, one, the center. Nice deep breath. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. And center with some motion wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step to the side and gathering start. Thank you. And let's gather in from the other side. Center. Take a nice deep breath and then let's march in place. Oh, junk! So, today I'm going to do the standing corset. No squats involved in that if you want to do some squats. To get the heart rate going. I think I'm going to sprint today. I not do any running yet. But you can keep doing what you're doing. Just be safe. After class, we get the five buttons. I'm going to start in five. And thirty. Two deep press. Interlacing the fingers, raise them up over here. And I'll reach up. If you can bend back, do so. Otherwise, just keep reaching up. Coming back to center, bending to one side. And then the Back to center, lowering the hands, pressing out of the chest.
coming down, interlacing the fingers behind the back, and raising the hands. Back down and shrug. And roll back. Take a W. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And release and squeeze. Then release and one more time. Extend the arms and rotate. And go in the other direction. One palm is down, one more palm is up, and flip flop. Cross the arm, press into the other. Then the other. First arm behind the back, pressing down and in. And then the other. And grab both elbows and rock side to side. Come on down, extend the arm out, fingers up and pull back. And down. And float. Willing. And making a fist. And we did. Other hand. Down. Flop. And let's rotate the head. And go in the other direction. Not. And go ear to shoulder. Look at a chin and peck like a pigeon. And then keep it tucked in and turn to one side, drop the chin to the collarbone. And then pick it up. And then come back to center as chin is still tucked, 
go to the other side and drop it to it. Raise it. Center. And we'll do a side run. Put away. Putting the feet together. Hinge at the waist. Unlock the knees. Drop the arms. Keep the spine neutral. Head back. Stretch the hips. One up, turn to one side. Press on the back heel. Throw your calf. And then the other way. And come on up. And let's grab a stick. Let's put it up on the shoulder. And we will twist it the way so we're going to do uh, Dr. Lee's routine. And if you want, slowly bring some steps into it. Don't have to. And then bring it up overhead and oscillate back and forth. And then down below your waist. Go to one side. And then the other. Bring it in front and paddle the tire. In reverse direction. Up to the shoulders and flop the wrists. And then go down. And up and down. And then hold it at the shoulders, reverse the position of the um, so they're facing up and flop the wrist. And go down. And up.
And then put the stick back on the shoulders. And do some knee raises. Only go as high as you feel comfortable doing. And then we'll do some hip rotations. Again, only go as high as feel safe. And bring the stick to the side in the front and swing it behind your back. And then the other arm. Bring it in front, hold on with two hands, one hand or something else. Come up on your toes. Heels. Toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. Toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, and toes. And that's that for the stick. Put that down. Standing core, and you want to keep. The core engaged, not really tight, but tight like somebody was about to punch you right in the stomach. And you'll feel the side of your abs expanding slightly as you tighten the core. I'm going to start with some good mornings. We'll do 10. Good. And then we're going to do some traveling rows. So we're going to hinge at the waist, cross your arms, and come back up, and then down, crossing the other way, and up and down. We'll do 10 on each side. So that's the third set for. Four, five, five. Nine, nine, and ten. Now just slap your opposite knee 10 times on this. Good. 
around 10. And now you want to crunch rotationally about a 45 degree angle, 10 each way. And we're going to do some cherry picks. So, going to straight up try to keep your ear parallel, uh, your arm parallel to your ear, and pluck that cherry out of the tree. And just some ultimate jumping jack. So you step to the side, put your hands overhead, don't jump, and then come back down and go to the other side. more and hold you know put your um, feet apart a little bit wider than shoulder and come across towards the toes I like to touch them At six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come on up. Same knee to uh, elbow, same side. Don't have to touch again. And take a breath, last one. You're gonna come up in a block like this and try to go to your opposite knee to elbow. Two. If you can't do this, just do the same knee to elbow again. And 10. Beautiful. Couple of nice recouping breaths. We're going to do the five second breath in, five second breath out, six times. Give us a six breath per minute pace. Once again, if you want to practice um, heart rate variability exercise, Take a look at the Facebook uh, group page where there's an excerpt from the book that I cited the other day. Talks all about it and uh, how to extend this into five minute exercise. Whole idea is to breathe 
six times a minute. So we're going to inhale for five. And exhale for five. Inhale. And rub those hands together, cultivating chi. I'm going to chi ball. And if anybody doesn't uh, have access to Facebook for that uh, group uh, page that I mentioned, just email me and I'll be happy to send you the link to that exit. And four times two, three, two, one, centering, two breaths. And we open our hearts as we exhale, and inhale coming in. Pause on that inhale, exhale, share it. Center, two breaths. And bring down Chi from above. It scoops them up from earth. Namaste. Thank you, Tomas. Hey, you're welcome, Chuck. Have a Thank great you, day. Thank you, You're welcome. Hey, you, you were great. That was wonderful. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Thanks. Don, John, Suzanne, hello, Nina. Hello. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. I See will. you, Tom. Thanks a okay. lot. You're welcome, Bill. Hi, Tom. Hello, Suzanne. All right, there's 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 a five Tibetan. Uh, and is Lily around?
All right. We'll get started. <laughs> with right. well, yeah, I'll leave it on this one. All right, let's do up to eleven spins, or you can twist it the way and swing your arm. And when you're done, take two deep breaths. We're going to get down on the floor. And fly back with the soles of feet on the floor for the modified position. And through the by the side, underneath the small of the back, or underneath the head if you have neck issues. Head, neck, and shoulders come up at the same time that the soles of the feet come up in the modified. Unmodified, you extend the legs and come up with the head, neck, and shoulders at the same time. Right back down under 65. One. And when you're done, take two breaths. We're going to come up on our knees. And uh, on the back of the thigh, foot on the boots. You can bend back at the knees if you have trouble with extensions. But if you need an extension yourself, come forward. And that's one of the ways. And eleven. Two breaths. And sit down. You have the modified version of the soles and feet are on the floor. The hands can be by the hips with your fingers facing forward or behind the back if you find it easier. Coming up into an inverted table in the unmodified version. Either extended on the and I'm going to do it that way, but whatever works for you. One.
comunidad se escribió. Go turn around on all fours. In the modified version about the pure cobra. Do that 11 times. Or you can start in the down dog, come on to the up dog, and then modify that version. You do that 11 times, or you do 65. So now, And when you're done, come around. Wash your legs a little if you're comfortable. For you this morning, I'll take two deep breaths. I'm going to rotate the waist 11 times, six in one direction, five in the other. Do it sitting up. Or many down as I'm doing this one. Four. And when you're done with those 11, reverse the position of the feet. Whether in the legs, whatever was on top goes on the bottom, in front goes behind. Five in one direction, six in the other. We'll pause on the last round to stretch out. Do two rounds of box breathing. Four in, four hold, four exhale, four hold before inhaling again. And then we'll do it over the left knee and then the right knee. Go. Two, three. And stripping out. Doing the box breath. And going over to the left here. Two rounds of that stretch there. And the lightning. Oh. 
Thanks, Tom. <laughs>